Welcome to the channel. My name is Mike York. I do animation and I work on video games for a living. I've been doing it for uh, a little over 15 years now. And so I want to touch on a subject which is kind of near and dear to me and that is how to break into the industry. And one of the topics is, is to basically start as a game tester. So if you're looking to get a job as a game tester, one of the first things that you want to do or have is a passion for games because you're going to be playing them. I mean, I know you are going to hear this out of my mouth, but it's no joke. You're going to be playing games a lot and it's not what you think it is. Okay. A lot of people think as a game tester, you're just going to go in there. You're going to have a blast. You're just going to have fun with all your friends and just play overwatch all day. Or you're going to sit there and play call of duty all day. It's not like that. What, what happens is, is you're there to test the game. You're there to break it. You're there to try to find exploits. You're there to try to find any little hole you can to break the game. And sometimes you're going to do really, really monotonous tasks where like your lead, your boss will be like, okay, I want you to uh, run over to that little pillar there, like run to that location. And then your buddy here, your friend here is just going to shoot you in the head. And I need you to do that all day for eight hours. And you're like, what? Like, are you serious? You want me to just literally run to the same spot? all day and just get shot in the head? Yeah. And you're like, oh God. Because as soon as you start doing stuff like that and you and you do something repetitive over and over and over and over and over and over and over, you're just like, oh my God, get me out of here. And so game testing can be frustrating. It can be very taxing, okay? Back in the day when I was a game tester, um, I was a game tester at Activision. A lot of times, a long time ago, there's a lot of long hours. There was a lot of time that people put in overtime, right? So game testing is not all roses and cherries and blossom apple pies, okay? Sometimes when you're a game tester, you're going to be doing things that you, you don't love and you don't enjoy. So I just want to get that out of the way because if, if you think that game testing is just fun, it's easy peasy, it's, it's not. It is a job. It is something that you need to be good at. It's something you need to be professional at. And it's something that you have to take a passion for and be professional about it, right? So if you're trying to get a job as a game tester, one of the first things that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to research the company that you're going to want to work for. All of these companies are different and unique in their own different way, okay? So if you apply as a game tester at Riot Games, for example, they work on League of Legends. They want somebody that's going to be passionate about League of Legends. They want to know your character's name in the game. They want to look you up and look at your stats and see how much you actually play the game. They are hardcore about the game over there at Riot, okay? So it depends on the company you want to work for. You have to really tailor your email and your message to somebody that you're reaching out to to get a job based off of what they do and what they're passionate about. And if you're passionate about it, right? You don't want to reach out to just every single company. In the beginning, you, you, you do want to reach out to them all. And that's something I want to touch on in a second. But what I want to stress is that you want to make sure that when you send an email, when you first start sending out emails to get jobs doing this, is that you are passionate about what they do at their company. You want to bring up moments about games that they work on and why you like them. And you want to talk about how you're passionate about finding the bugs in the game. Okay. You're not just there to play the game. You're there to find the loopholes and the, the exploits. Like I said, you're there to break the game. So talk about that in your email and so forth. Right? So I'm going to talk about three, three main things you need to do basically to become a game tester. And number one is to start off by researching all the companies. Okay. Go to every, cause right now you can go on to Google and type in list of game developer studios or game developer list, whatever. And you can find a whole list usually of studios. And what you need to do is you need to go to every single one of them and research them, look them up, see where they're located. A lot of times right now, the beauty of all this is you can work from home. You can test your games on your computer behind, you know, you can do whatever you want from home. A lot of times testers can work from home now and you don't have to have a dev kit and be inside the studio, right? But most of the time as a game tester, they're probably going to want you to work in house at location. So keep that in mind. If you're researching these companies and you don't want to move to Germany or some crazy place to work, then don't apply there probably. Or if you're going to apply, make sure that you, you word in your email that you are remote only and you can only work remotely, right? So 
keep that in mind because it things are changing now and more than ever you're going to be able to work from home so don't shy away from applying at a company that says that they don't like they're only working in-house don't do that apply still because things have changed because of covid okay so like i said number one research all these companies and look at the ones that you think are cool, the games you like, the styles of games, because like I said, remember, you're gonna be playing the same game over and over and over. So if it's a style of game that you don't like, like if you don't like playing League of Legends, don't apply at Riot Games to be a game tester, okay? Because you're gonna be doing things that you probably are really annoyed at and you don't wanna do. So try to apply it to places that you're really passionate about that are cool games to start off with and get your feet wet, right? And apply it a lot of smaller studios, okay? So tip number two, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Put your, <laughs> don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't just apply at Pixar and all these big companies. Well, I don't know why I say Pixar, but don't apply at places that only do Call of Duty games or only do the big, big corporate. You don't want that, okay? In the beginning, you want to get a job at anything, right? So don't be afraid to apply at a very small studio. Look up, like I said, all those developer lists and you'll see a lot of smaller game companies and they'll, a lot of times, okay, they're not going to have on their website that we are hiring game testers, okay? 90% of the time, they're not gonna have that. They're not gonna specifically say that we're hiring QA testers. So you, you need to do the due diligence and, and research this company and send them an email and say, hey, I love your games, I love what you're doing here. You know, I used to play this game, it's one of my favorite games of all time. I'm really passionate about playing games and I would love to get a foot in the door at your studio working as a game developer, but I'd love to start out as a tester. Would you allow me to start out as a tester? I'd really love to go in there. I could break the game, man. I tell you what, me and my friends, you could share stories maybe about how you and your friends try to break the game or exploit the game. You know, they want to see that you are passionate about this stuff. One of the most important things about getting a job in the video game industry is being passionate about what they do and what 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 games are made right like if you apply to a company you want to make sure that you are enjoying the games that they make because you're going to be a huge integral part of it and every part of it usually especially if it's at a smaller game studio okay so tip number three you want to form your email very professionally okay so tip number three is form your prof your professional email. You, you need to make a, tep uh, <coughs> <coughs> a template. And what I mean by that is you need to make a whole email that's basically like a whole thing that's written out perfectly in your eyes, right? You want to say, hey, my name is blah, 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 blah. And you want to replace this email with a different company name. And you have to be very careful about this, okay? When you send an email, you need to make sure that the company matches the company that you're sending it to. You need to reread your email thoroughly and make sure that you're not sending it to the wrong company, okay? I have done this personally. I've done it several times. And it looks really bad, and I know it does. So you have to be careful about these things, you know? Try not to do what I did and burn yourself to where you send an email to Activision and you say, hey, I'd love to work over there at Bungie and I, or hey, I'd love to work over there at Rockstar Games on Call of Duty. They're like, what? What do you mean? Rockstar Games doesn't make Call of Duty. Oh my God, this guy's an idiot. <sighs> Throw out your, you have to be careful. Make sure you read all your stuff and make sure you tailor that email towards the company you're working for. Like an integral part of tip number three here of making sure this email is like a template is that you need to change this template up. It's just a template, okay? It's not an email you copy paste to everything and just change the company name. Don't do that, okay? You need to personalize it. That's why you're here watching this video right now, okay? This, this tip that I'm giving you is very important. This is what can make or break you getting a job. You do not just copy and paste an email, okay? You don't do that. You personalize it. You talk about Grand Theft Auto and how you used to play it as a kid and how you can't wait till Grand Theft Auto 6 comes out and how GTA 5, you really love this moment of the game and blah, 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 blah. It's okay at this moment right now to write that big email, to show your passion about what games that they make. This is the time to do it because this company is sifting through thousands of emails and thousands of, you know, <laughs> resumes and stuff a day you would you'd be surprised at how many companies get like massive amounts of, of job applicants for this stuff okay so you have to stand out 
<clears throat> one of the ways of doing that is making it personal. Talking about the stories that, and the games that you had fun playing and how you want to work on them with them, with that company. Okay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed some of these tips because this is something very important. You have to word your email certain ways, right? You have to you have to approach things a certain way. You don't want to just copy paste stuff. You don't want to just um, only apply it to big companies, right? This is something that it's a full time job applying for a job. Okay, so never forget that. It takes a lot of time to, to, to apply for jobs. A lot of times I feel, I see people and they go, Oh man, I can't get this job. I, haven't, I can't get a job in this. It's just not for me. And I ask them, well, who have you applied to? Well, I've applied to Activision, you know, Blizzard. It's like, they've only applied to a couple of the big names, right? Is what I'm getting at. They've only applied to a couple big companies and they're selling themselves short. You have to apply to all of them. Every single one. When I first got into the game industry, I applied to every single company I could possibly, you know, Every single company I could possibly get into, I applied to. And on that note, if you want to know how I got into the game industry and how I got my first job, there will be a link up above. Check it out. Go to my next videos. In this one, I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate all your time and support. You know what buttons to press, and I appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!